It's your boy back again, Joe, aka I do this coding face dot com. All right, guys, I'm gonna teach you about you know a little bit of, about arrays, something simple, which are just a list, man. So let's say an example. You want to create an array. An array is basically brackets, right? So there's two brackets, and inside of it there's properties. So like let's say I wanted to say car, car, store, whatever, boat. You could also have inside of it, uh, you know, numbers, booleans, you could even have a function. So like let's say name, All right? Now or a variable that could just be a variable right there so let's say an example uh, var list equals this list which is an array so now when we check what's inside of the variable list uh, we checked let's see what's inside of it now we have this, right? Name is blank because it hasn't been created yet. So like let's say if, if it was a function, function name return let's say Joe, right? Now when we run that, you see, it's saying, name is actually a function right so how do we access this properties that are inside of a an array right very simple we basically say list and then we say brackets and then inside of it we put a number basically the number of where it's actually placed the index number right so you say you start with zero so you say zero one two three two uh, three four five <laughs> yeah so basically you start with zero one two three four five <laughs> all right guys um, and let's say I wanted to print uh, the third one so the third one remember that it starts with zero so it's zero one two so I wanted to print this I would say hey you see I got both list two equals both so let's say also if I wanted to change uh, this to false I will say zero one two three four so I will say list property four change to false now it got changed now let's say I wanted to see what's inside of the list now see car store boat to false so now what we did was we changed the original list that we had and then now because I changed list uh, property 4 to false it got changed so now down the road it has become now false right it's that simple I mean what more is there to teach about arrays it's just a list remember that you basically you create it by creating a variable so you say var uh, car names and then you say okay let me put that list BMW uh, Honda Benz all right now inside of it you have car names you got BMW Honda and Benz that's it pretty much it all right guys make sure you subscribe and make sure you check out all my videos and keep learning from me man trust me you're gonna see a lot of stuff coming you know pretty soon so make sure you subscribe